when we wrote the high school standards, we didn't organize them into courses by year. That makes sense in elementary and middle school to have some sort of sequence that everybody's agreed on that's carefully designed to increase students' knowledge throughout the grade levels to build up to those high school subjects. But by the time students get to high school, in some sense the subject has come together. They're ready to start exploring in different ways and with different routes. And states traditionally have taken different routes when they uh, organize high school. Some states use a traditional sequence, Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2. Some states use a uh, integrated sequence where you just have Math 1, Math 2, and Math 3 with all of those subject areas occurring in each grade level. Some states allow school districts to have flexibility on that, and we thought it was important to respect those choices. And so we thought that we would just present the subject matter as it is and not dictate courses. There's also another more important reason for doing that, which is that it really helps show the subject matter of high school mathematics. Often high school mathematics has been something that is viewed as this topic after this topic after this topic without any sense of how it all fits together, without any sense of the coherence. We wanted to present a coherent picture of algebra, for example, where we described practices that were really important that would go across grade levels that students would keep coming back to again and again as they looked at more complex algebraic objects. In geometry, we wanted to describe a coherent sequence there. Another thing that's new about the high school standards is the emphasis on modeling. We don't think of modeling as a separate subject. You wouldn't have uh, a separate set of standards where on Tuesdays you do modeling and then on Mondays you do algebra or whatever. We embedded the modeling standards in all the other subject areas because modeling is about using mathematics and applying it to problems that come from outside mathematics. And that can be done in any of the other areas of mathematics in high school. The other thing about the high school standards is the emphasis on statistics and probability. There's a significant amount of that in high school. We think that's important to prepare students for their future careers. A lot of what people need these days is the ability to interpret complex information, data that is given to them, whether they're in a technical career or not. So the emphasis on statistics and probability supports that need.